do is we start here and then we kind of wind up it's more gradual and then we go up to the cross so this morning we are doing the cross hike and i have to Palm pee Desert. already <laughs> we didn't notice i wonder if there's restrooms down there i doubt it tammy's desperate oh and there's not much coverage here and i did not bring my pee style so oh, i mentioned so good morning. Tammy has already stuck her knock trekking pole straight into a pile of poop. <laughs> Great start to the day. We're just about to start our first climb. Yay. <laughs> We've made it to Angstrom Point. Breathe, sweetie. <laughs> start scrambling up that way in a sec. Those of you who have taken this hike have seen this, but there's a huge cuts of these rose quartz, I would assume, all on this hike. It's gorgeous. trail. We're a little more than halfway through the cross. You can see the wonderful view. It's been all uphill so far. Um, I don't know what the elevation gain is, but there's the cross if you can see a lot of people up there. So we're gonna make it, right? Mm. Well, I don't want to give you a migraine. <laughs> I know the total amount of the hike was like, did I say three miles? Oh my God, you didn't tell me. If you had said I did. three miles, I would not have. I did. No, you did not. It's an out and back. It's normally 2.8 miles, but we parked way the heck out there by accident. <laughs> so I added a couple of more tents. Oh God, there's cyclists on this trail? Since when? So we've got, I don't know how much longer, that much to go, but we're kind of beat. <laughs> Tammy's been done, and I've been egging her on, and I'm about done. I haven't got to look at the um, elevation gain. It seems just as bad as a bump and grind, if not more. No. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No more snacking. Get off me. Get off me. So, yeah, we suck. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's a nice day, though. Wouldn't you say, Tammy? Mm -hmm. What did the lady call you? Off? Yeah, what did she call you? Why? <laughs> Tammy Lou Who? <laughs> they missed the whole thing, so that was me. I know, you get nothing, but that's okay. We decided to push on a little bit longer. Not for much longer. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? I'm pretty good. good. <laughs> you say tired? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. I want to toss something over to give you a perspective. And it stops. It's steep, trust me. <laughs> oh, honey. I know. Tammy would like I'm to done. demonstrate the proper way in her mind of using trekking poles. I did not. No. of gear that um, you, you don't really think of 
Like I want to add olive oil to uh, meals to help, you know, add more fat to it. I was at the dollar store the other day and found these little things. The travel bottles are actually super lightweight. So I'm going to, one of them is going to be for olive oil. I don't know if I'm going to use more than one, but seriously a buck. It's 33 cents a piece. It's like awesome. This, I actually talked to um, my, um, uh, my foot doctor and he basically, I, I asked him, I told him what I was doing. He's a sports foot doctor. And I'm like, do you have any tips besides stretching, massages, and stuff like that, and pro proper footwear? And he mentioned this. And I actually saw, um, I've seen hikers use these. These are compression socks for the calves. And they're supposed to help with swelling, actually, because um, it keeps the blood flow. Um, I don't know if it prevents too much blood from getting <laughs> into the feet or if it just helps with the blood flow, period. But let me, um, let me put one on and show you what they look like. They don't seem very, I mean, they're tight, but I don't know. But anyways, they're kind of dirty because I just went hiking and I pulled them up over my uh, dirty darn tufts. Focus. There we go. Dirty darn tufts. So it, this might be a luxury item I end up sending back home, but um, I'll bring them along on the first. Sorry, messy. <laughs> I'll bring it along on the first part of the hike, maybe. Check them out. See if they're any good. Yeah, so the, uh, the cross hike was a bit of a wash. Um, we did make it um, more than halfway up. I think we made it, uh, she had her phone going. It was about, I'd say, a mile in, I think she said she saw. Anyways, by the time we got back to the car, we read it, and it was like a hair over two miles. Um, again, I don't know about the uh, uh, elevation gain. It was more than I thought it was. I thought I looked on the old trails, and it seemed like it was pretty mild. No, it's not mild. Um, <laughs> anyways, but at least we got out there and hiked a little bit. Um, the problem was getting back into La Quinta. There apparently is our first ever annual Ironman going on. And the city closed down. I swear the entire city is closed down. It made it impossible to get home. Um, what should have taken 15 minutes to drive home took an hour and a half. Um, and that's because we had to make this huge circle around the entire valley just to <laughs> get to the detour route because we were being clever and we went down uh, one street and found that it was blocked. <laughs> oh, joy. Uh, man, not a good day to go out for a hike. Maybe a local one, but not out in Palm Desert. Well, what are you going to do? All right, if you guys like what you saw, um, <laughs> somebody's cooking in the next room. <laughs> uh, never mind the fire alarm. Nothing's gone wrong. <laughs> if you like what you see, please click like down below. <laughs> oh my gosh and um click the little bell if you want reminders when i put up new videos and have a great week i'll i'll see you next time